a subterranean thriller may just leave you trapped in your seat with feelings of claustrophobia and suffocation. Hey kids, does that sound like fun? It's time to get flicked up. Welcome to Flicked Up. It's a show about movies. I'm Brett Martin. Thanks for watching. Do you want to know what it's like to be trapped in an underwater cave system with rising tides and dwindling supplies of food and oxygen? Well, Sanctum in 3D is the movie for you. Here I go. You can't do this. I'm not a diver. You can do this because you have to do this. I don't want to die down here. I gotta get out of here. A team of underwater cave divers gets trapped underground after a tropical storm. And when their exit gets blocked, the only way out is down, fighting raging water and deadly terrain, and a creeping panic as they search for an escape route to the sea. The biggest star of the film is not even on camera. James Cameron is an executive producer, and he lends a hand by allowing the film to be shot with his very special, very high-tech Avatar cameras. Richard Roxburgh plays the obsessed caver. Rise Wakefield plays the part of Roxburgh's son. By the way, the father-son duo carry this film. Johan Griffith of Fantastic Four fame plays the evil financier. No matter what happens, you never, ever give up. Will they get out alive? Or will they be trapped forever? The film is inspired by true events, but the reality is this survival saga suffers from hammy acting and cliche-riddled dialogue. I'll well, see you on the other side. Could have picked a better choice of words. 3D doesn't enhance the movie, if anything, it makes it more claustrophobic and uncomfortable. Now, many of the deaths in the film are grotesquely graphic, making it more of a horror film than a thriller. The Flickometer gives Sanctum three out of five. Now, I almost gave this a 2.5 rating, but I realized that I don't do round numbers with this rating, so sorry. The visuals are often breathtaking and the underwater shots are amazing. So my advice to you is to turn down the volume and just sit back and look at the pretty pictures. It's really a better way of experiencing this film. I'm social and there are several ways to follow me. If you have an idea or a question, you can send me an email or subscribe to my website, please, flickedup.com. I'm on TV via multimedia platforms. Check me out there as well. I'm Brett Martin. Thanks for watching. You've been informed, or as we like to say around here, you're flicked up.